Uncle John. Do you believe that it's being controlled and hidden and kept away? If so, who and why? That's a load of questions that could go into two different ways. I'm always going to bring this back to the truth of how it was presented to me on the other side. Are there forces per trying to prevent access to these things? Absolutely. Because that's the whole point of controlling the soul here. Why do you think there's so much fear here? Because fear is controlling the soul, suppression of information and accessing the things that we all have the right to access. The biggest fear of the ones that control this place is the souls actually truly seeing things for what they really are. When you wake up to the other side, this is something that my uncle has said to me. He's passed, and I've, through leaving my body, I've accessed dead relatives and stuff like that to also have contact with them and communication. Something that he shared with me when I was out of my body and accessing the other side is that he said, What's the most important thing here is what they call the great work, which is waking people up to the other side. Because when they wake up to here, which is the eternal aspect of each soul, they wake up to everything because everything's available to you when you start to wake up to the true nature of the true universe, who you are, what we really are. And so when you look at the suppression of information, truth, anyways, the suppression of awakening the dormant abilities within the physical body. And they do that through many things. They do that through medicine, right? I'll just say that. Through a lot of different ways, they suppress the body from decoding the information. Because like I said before, everybody has body and access to all things, just like everybody, let's just say that your body's a computer, so everybody has access to the internet. So if you wanted to control and limit the access of information of everybody having access to the internet through the computer, then you would start to self-sabotage and limit certain aspects of the hardware within the computer. So even though it has access, it can't really access it in the way that it truly is meant to access it. You see what I mean? Yeah. But my, my question, sorry to, to, to cut you off, is what do they gain? And, and rather than keep it, if you don't want to, I mean, I understand if you don't want to name specific people who we've already thrown NASA, and I know, I don't, me personally, I don't know enough about this because it's been my understanding of, I, I just kind of don't, look in that direction, I focus on, well, if I can, if you can spread that sort of knowledge and news and give people an opportunity to, to understand those things, they will get there. And me, myself, I just kind of focus on, you know, <laughs> well, I know that this is real and I know I can do X, Y, and Z. So uh, the best way to spread some of that is to, is to be it, right? But if you could, then like, what do you gain? What does someone on this side, you know, over here on earth gain from having that control? Is it just, is it move the masses in the way that they want or would they have no control power money you know what is the whole point why why even try and stop someone when people wake up to to understand who we really are then you when you control souls the amount of souls that you have here you have unlimited potential of access of energy information data to move it from this maybe the powers at, at b if we kind of take it back to the ancient world what they knew how they how life was you know, was their relationship to reality and consciousness completely different from what we're experiencing now? How do we deal with the stories we get from them and, and all of that? So when you look into the records, the records that I've looked into one out of my body, right? And like I said before, a lot of the texts, a lot of the religion, religions and stuff like that have truth, a lot of truth in them. Not, not all is true. It's like a little bit of truth. You, you give them 20% truth and then 80% lie, lead them down a path of self-sabotage, all that stuff, right? Could you give yeah. us a little bit of an example? Yeah. Maybe yeah. Yeah. something that, yeah. Yeah. The Halls of Amente is, is, a point, is a record of a point in time within this realm, which was also a point in time of the pyramids and stuff like that. You look back into that, those records, the physical body and the people that they were, they knew all things. They knew the nature of where things were, and they had all of the capabilities within the physical body of that which you have the capability to do on the other side, which is no limitation, right? This is where you have the shape shifting between different species within the physical body because you were able to shift and change the way that you wanted to look and your soul wanted to express itself. Things were created through thoughts. It was ultimate expression of their soul's divinity within physical density. That was the time frame. To go back to your original question, which is like the bad and stuff like that, because then also want to revert it back to what I've been told as well, so that it's not necessarily all doom and gloom and stuff like that. All right. 
this realm in particular, I'm just going to say out say it out is, and if it goes on deaf ears and doesn't really matter, at least, at least someone will hear it. This realm was originally created to experience that which you are not. This this realm, this what we're in right now, was the unexperienced on the other side. So that's why there's a lot of souls here to experience the unexperienced. Not all souls chose to came here, but the ones that have have experienced the unexperienced, the extremes, right? And in that very thing, we are experiencing that which we are not. You also had to have certain roles playing out of the bad guys, right? You see what I mean? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there really is no such thing as a good or bad thing. It's just an experience. And that experience gives you a certain perceptional wisdom that could have not been birthed unless it was experienced. 